again, John Wilde, here to give you another look at vintage, well, maybe vintage, action figures. And this time we're going to be looking at a custom $6 million man 8 inch scale figure. This past June, I attended the Mego Meet in Columbus, Ohio. When I was walking around the dealer room, I was digging through a bin and I found this $6 million man custom 8 inch scale action figure. I wish at the time I would have asked the seller more information about him because he really is kind of a unique thing. Now Zika Toys made an 8 inch scale $6 million man figure a few years back, but this definitely isn't that figure. Let's take a look at some of the features. So beginning at the bottom of the figure, we're going to look at his track shoes first. These track shoes actually came off of the Zika $6 million man figure, but interestingly, someone has added socks which would have been on the original vintage Kenner six million dollar man moving up and getting a good look at the track suit this suit is definitely different than the one that was produced by Zika toys the material used on the track suit is very similar to that of the original Kenner six million dollar man figure it has nice detailed stitching turning the figure around we see that he does not have the little hole in the back like the vintage figure would have for the action feature of the arm. So let's talk a little bit about the body that this figure is on. It's an 8 inch Zika style body that was used and you can tell that by moving the arms. The arms swivel. There's no rubber bands in the figure. This one is just, he's just got a regular 8 inch style body. Interestingly, someone has swapped out the hands on this figure. so. It doesn't come with the standard Zika hands. It's like one hand has a little bit more of a gripping action and the other one looks more of a standard hand. And I wonder if there wasn't an accessory that maybe somebody put with this, maybe a custom engine block. I don't know. He's got a bend at the knee. He's got articulation at the feet and they also swivel. But unlike the Zika toys body, he actually has a regular Zika body that doesn't have the bionic pieces which was like translucent plastic and the arms and the legs. So finishing up at the top, we'll get a look at Steve Austin's head here. It's a custom sculpt and I'm really not exactly sure where the head sculpt comes from. I've seen some on eBay, but this definitely isn't the one that they were selling on eBay. It's custom painted, as you can see, so there's a little bit of highlights and lowlights in the hair. And the person who painted this head did a really nice job. The head sculpt is very reminiscent of the 70s $6 million man figure from Kenner. Here's a look at the profile of the figure. And the profile from the other side. Here's a look at the back of the head and you can see that they tried it adding a little bit of highlights and lowlights into the hair detail. So all in all, this head sculpt is really very good. Um, I love the look of it. I love the scale of this figure. And there's just one thing that's really been bothering me. And here it is. When I got this figure, he did not have any sort of logo on him, any sort of uh, indication that this was a $6 million man figure. But I figured out a way to remedy this. I went online and picked up a $6 million man logo just off of an image, put it onto Excel and shrank it down and now I can add a $6 million man logo to this figure. Let's put it on it. So there you go, just a, a quick little print on some computer paper. I know it's, it's really not the ideal way to probably get this done, but for me, it definitely was the piece that was just missing to make this thing look the way I wanted it to. So I've added my own little bit of uh, customization to this custom figure. So there you have it, that's a custom eight inch, $6 million man action figure that I picked up at Mego Meat. Again, I wish I had more information about where it came from and who made it. Maybe if the person who sold this to me watches this video, maybe you could leave a comment and tell me a little bit more uh, about how you made this figure and uh, what, what, where'd you get the pieces from? Because I'm sure a lot of people out there would really like to have their own custom just like this figure. I'd like to thank you though for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, do 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 do